The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was Pyra and Mithra's Driver. This is part two, and the last part, I went into extreme details about how Izuku met Mithra, and how the two of them got to know each other. The reason being, Pyra, that Izuku and Mithra need to have a strong bond. Bond. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, a, dr a driver and a blade need to trust each other both on, not just on a physical level, but also on a spiritual and mental level as well. Basically, become one. So, with Mithra knowing that Izuku is more than just a spazzy kid or feels that of a pushover, but is dedicated, strong will, and kind hearted. So, with that said, Izuku Mithra now decides to give her power to Izuku. With that said, let's get into this. After after the day where Izuku met Mithra, Izuku planned to head back to school. However, he doesn't know what to do with Mithra since, well, you know, she's considered to be his quirk, even though she's basically a living person. But, that said, she decides to just follow Izuku to, to his middle school with tons of teachers wondering on who the heck this woman, who this young woman is following Izuku and even tons of students wondering why is a girl like this at their school and why are they following Izuku? With Izuku having to give everyone the same thing that she's a quirk that, that she's his quirk. She's a sentient quirk that he can't, that has a mind of her own. However, her power is his. It is, m most people believe that that's stupid, that it makes no sense. Especially Bakugo, who won't, ex who can't accept the idea of a, of a woman basically being his quirk. And thinks that she's just helping him. However, Mithra basically gets pissed off and instead... And for actually, and for defending Izuku, she literally slaps him in the face, as everyone sees this and is shocked. Even Izuku, with his jaw dropped, thinking she literally just slapped Kachan. Did that just happen? As Mithra basically, as ba Bakugo was pissed off and went and preparing for or an explosion at Mithra, she hit, she slaps him again. With, sh with her saying, Izuku may be a spazoid and a bit of a nervous and also a pushover. However, he's kind-hearted and just and is way much more better of a hero than you'll ever be. And as his quirk, I'm exact. I'm going to help him get to become the greatest hero. So you got. So you're not going to be pushing him all over again. Got it. After that, she stands right beside Izuku again, with everyone actually having some respect for Izuku, even though since people believe that she is his quirk. Even Bakugo has actually stopped bullying and threatening Izuku for the past couple of days. With that, with those days, Izuku and Mithra began learning how how to use her so how to use her sword. As Izuku began looking at videos on how to swing a sword, how the proper stance is, how to use how certain so, certain sword techniques and ba and basic kendo techniques too, his mom he was thinking about taking a kendo class, but doesn't know if it's the right time for him to do so. So, especially with Mithra always following him everywhere. So he decides to just train train in the forest or 
or head to Dagaba Beach with tons of trash, makes it easier to actually use the sword. With Mithra telling him that his sword is that the blade of her sword is made out of pure energy, that it can be used it can be used for non-lethal attacks, it can be used as a blunt object, and it can be as sharp as the most on as a as the sharpest razor in the entire world. At, soon after, Izuku began te- learning how to use these use these well these forms of the of her sword. And even begins wondering if she, if her job is to support and defend him, how is she going to defend herself if he's going to be using her sword all the time? Feeling like he's taken away her only, def- her only way of truly defending herself. As Mithra saying, "You're way too, ki- you're way too kind," and you're, I can defend myself easily. Even if I take a lot of damage, I'll just go back into my core. It may be a while until you see me again, but other than that, I can't die. Just so you know. Soon after, Izuku says, but still, I can't live with myself knowing that you got hurt, Mithra. Can, that's just how I feel. And after that, Mithra blushes a lot and says, you idiot, don't say stuff like that. And, Soon after, the two of them just got back to training. As Izuku began learn, began feeling like he's mastered Mithra's sword easily. It's only been like five months, but it's been pretty easy. Even people in the school have gotten used to Mithra hanging around. Heck, the school even forced Izuku to give Mithra a, a female student outfit. At first, she was hesitant but decide to take it anyway. With Izuku looking at her, seeing that she actually looks really good in the uniform. Soon after, she even began began telling Izuku about her specialty, that a weapon that only she, that only they can use, and that weapon being called Siren. As Izuku asks questions, wait, what's Siren? As she says, it's called, an, it's basically an artifice. In a way, it's like the concept of a mech in your, in, in the way that you would say it. Or a giant robot. As saying, wait, giant robot? What the, how? It just, as Izuku begins freaking out once more, she says, hey, none of that, just let me show you. Soon after, her chest, the core on her chest begins glowing. Soon also also on her head is on on her crown as well. And soon after something comes out of the sky, landing on the beach of Dagaba. As he as Izuki sees this and says, Oh my god! What the hell, Mithra? As she says, This is my Arphasis. Its name is Siren. As Izuku's jaw has once again dropped like crazy, believing that she had something like this under her sleeve, that this that this powerful mech is hers, saying, "You can use it anytime you want." So, what? So, what do you want to? You can destroy an ent- and destroy a villain instantly. As Izuku begins screaming out. I don't want you using this thing. If anything, it's dangerous. What? You could kill somebody with this. I don't want to do that. That's what a villain would do. As Mithra said, hey, I'm just trying to help. At least get, at least try and understand how I feel, idiot. As he's saying, yeah, I do, but try and see, try and see this from my point of view. Killing people is wrong. Heroes don't do that. We try and help. Even villains deserve help. I think, at least. As he's, as Mithra said, okay, fine. Snaps her fingers and Siren leaves and flies back up into the Earth's atmosphere. As Izuku's saying, oh, man, what a power like that, that's insane. How can I even use something like that? That's dangerous. 
is as Izuki begins thinking, Hey, uh, Mithra, can I ask you something? That ple but please don't be mad. As Mithra's saying, I can't promise that, so what's it gonna be, Izuku? As she has do you think you could limit your power like that? I mean, is there a way to do something? To become strong? I wanna I don't wanna hurt people completely. Just somewhat. At least to a way where I don't have to kill them. Is she begins thinking, oh. Oh. Okay then. I guess it was about time I, t I guess about time I actually brought her out. And as the back of the head, Sir, you know you could you could have introduced me on the se on the second day that we met him, when you said that you'll support him. And as Mithra said, shut up. As Izuku said, but I didn't say anything. Is she? Said, no, not you, you idiot. Just give me a minute. Soon after, Myth Mithra will be soon began glowing again. As Izuku said, wait, I said not sight. As her as she soon glowed and her entire figure changed from instead of ha she's the woman still had the same figure as Mithra but different clothes basically long heeled boots with short pants and a red tank top with short red hair as Izuku is shocked saying wait Mithra what happened to sorry I'm not Mithra my name's Pyra Mithra is my sister as Izuku is now shocked wondering sister as she as Pyra begins explaining that Mithra's power is way too is too much and we figured that so I'm here my job my job is to limit that power just in case it becomes overwhelming. It's still powerful. Don't worry, Izuku. I still have power, but instead of the power of light, mine is more symbol of fire. As Izuku saying, wait, so I can control so you. It, I guess it makes sense since your name is Pyra, and you can control flames. So that's. Not only that, he also noticed that his sword was different. That it wasn't glowing. That it wasn't a white golden with white golden blade with glowing, oh yeah, with glowing green. It was a pure red blade with flames coming out of the side, and a flame blade coming out as well. As wonder, huh? So this is your. So this is your sword, Pyra. I'm guessing, as she says. You're taking this a lot more easier than I thought. As he said, well, your your personality is a lot more different from Mithra's. You seem a lot more cool, calm, and collecting. The total opposite of Mithra, if I had to agree. As soon after Mithra comes out saying, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Can I explain Izuku as he ends working out? I mean, I didn't mean it as a disrespectful way. I just, as soon after Pirate King's back saying, <laughs> I thought so. I'm more, I'm more understanding and try to be more patient than Mithra. After since we are sisters, after all, as I can see that, I personally, the two of you are, may share the same body, but I can tell you both are different people, different inside, both mind and spiritually. I, I I guess I had to figure this out since I am your driver after all. As <laughs> as Pirate thinks, he really is a kind-hearted person, understanding too. <laughs> I'm glad that he's our driver. And as Mithra said, at least he, let's just hope he can understand our power easier. There, Izuku gets back to training, and actually, and with the power of Pirate's flames. He actually takes the handle to it a lot more easier than Mithra's power, which was so overwhelming for him. Se seeing since her power, since Pyra's flames are supposed to be a limiter, it makes it easier on him to control. To control. Well, 
allowing him to access a lot, to push himself a lot more better, and to get used to, get, while getting used to Pyra's power, he's also getting used to Mithras as well, slowly, not surely though. Getting back home, his mother was a little shocked that Mithra wasn't, well, you know, Mithra, and that it was Pyra instead. As Izuku began explaining, uh, sh Mithra, my quirk, can't, Mithra can switch her personality and switch, and switch looks. So, yeah, don't worry, it's still Mithra. She just looks different and acts different, too. As he tries laughing off, soon after Pyra goes up to Izuki's mother, it's a pleasure to meet you, Sador. It sorry if I look different, but if you want to help with cooking, I want to help. As Inko is surprised, wondering if she wants to help out, since the last time that Mithra cooked, it was barely even called food. And however, if you guys, if any of you have played Xenoblade Chronicle 2, then you know that Pyra is actually a pretty good cook, especially when it comes to cooking sweets. So yeah, as, as Inko is surprised seeing that Pyra is an amazing cook and willing to help out quite a bit, as Izuku feels like, huh, maybe this isn't going to be so bad after all. Uh, Soon after, going back to school, things did change a little bit. Even though Pyra was wearing Mithra's uniform, people were still wondering about, about Pyra anyway, as Izuku gave the same explanation he gave to his mother, that she can switch personalities and switch powers. Bakugo hearing this gets super pissy, gets super pissy and really wants to say, and can't accept the fact that Izuku has gotten stronger and has and has a different power. But thanks to himself, if this is a if this isn't Mithra, then maybe I have a chance of threatening a damn nerd. As he soon as he jumps out of his desk and lunges right at Izuku. As Izuku freaks out, Pyra actually creates a barrier over Izuku and both of them. Realizing as Bakio realized, wait, what the hell? As he says, I'm not like Mithra. I won't just hit you just to make a point, but I will protect Izuku with my life. That I promise. As Bakio saying, damn, damn your damn quirk. I don't know. It's so freaking annoying. As Izuku saying, thanks, Pyra. I really appreciate it. Is saying, don't worry about Izuku. There, he, the day, once again, the day goes by and Izuku begins training even more and is more dedicated while slowly getting used to, while, while Pyra helps him get used to Mithra's power, he's so, he actually gets to know both of them since both of them are completely different people after all. They're two different, they're not just different, both personality but also spiritually, as I said. With, when he spends times with Pyra, he can feel like he can let anything, he can tell her anything. If something's bothering him, if he's not feeling confident, or if he needs, or if he needs emotional support, Pyra's always there to be there for him when, when, he, when he needs her the most. When he's around Mithra, however, he's always, con he's always shy and pretty closed off, but, he knows that Mithra is trying to help him and trying to support him in his in her own way, even if it is kind of well direct and blunt. It's not that he's afraid of Mithra; it's that he doesn't want to let her down. And Mithra knows this and tries to ease up on being too well blunt and forceful, and actually tries to be a lot more nicer and work. But she still worries for him, just like Pyra does. So, year, months go by, and Izuku is now a sen is now a senior in junior high. His third year, he's now a third year. As their teacher says, now now that you're all third years, you should all be worrying. You should all be thinking about your futures. As I plan on giving you a, a career test. As he says, but why bother? 
all of you want to be heroes after all. And it's even Izuku is excited too. With Puck, with Mithra smiling at Izuku, looking at Izuku with, as she says, he, she's never seen Izuku that happy before. And you actually enjoy seeing him smile genuinely with her also smiling as well. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And I also plan on asking a poll. Do you guys want Izuku to have one for all or not? Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And also, I'm going to be putting this question also on my community page. So vote on that as well. And the highest one, that's what I'll choose. But if you guys care, if you guys want to support my channel, please like and subscribe, which helps on my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Leo Moki, signing out. Later.